Hi, I'm Tom with GoMeasure3D. Uh, today we're going to be scanning with the Artec Space Fighter. We're using the Artec Portable Battery Pack and also the Microsoft Surface Book for our processing. Uh, we're going to be scanning this small spearhead uh, for the purpose of educational review and 3D modeling. So because it will be very difficult to gather all the dimensions of this part in one orientation, um, we have some clay here that we're going to place on our manual rotary table. I'll move that. So what I'm going to do is scan it in this particular orientation, turn the part itself into another position, and then I will remove the data that's not wanted and align it to create my full watertight mock. So uh, once everything's plugged up and the, the software has recognized your scanner, uh, you have two options. You press the switch up once to begin scanning, down once to stop. Um, so I will press up once to understand my field of view, and then up another to actually start picking up data. So I will make my way around the part. All right, and once I've gathered all the information that I need in this particular position, I switch down once to stop scanning, and I will remove the part from the clay and simply flip it upside down. Once again, flip up once to understand your field of view and up once one more time to start scanning or gathering data. So make your way around the part one more time. And if it loses tracking, uh, simply all you have to do is return to a familiar part on your object with the scanner and it will pick up scanning where you left off. So now that we've gathered uh, the part in those two separate orientations, I'm going to show you how you would clean up this data uh, so that you can have your full watertight model. Okay, so first we will go into the editing tab. So you see it looks a little messy here. Uh, we have some noise in the background, uh, and then we have this base that we do not need, so I'm going to show you how to clean all of that up. The quickest way to do that is just to select the base as a whole. And click erase. And this excess noise uh, up at the top will be removed when we throw this object through the autopilot feature. Uh, so now that we have cleaned up that particular scan, we'll move on to this one. Okay, so now that we have cleaned up these scans uh, in these two particular positions, we need to align these parts together. So I will close out of the editing, go into the Align tab. First I need to select the proper scans. Uh, so let's see, there we go. Align. And it's very quick and easy. All you need to do is flip them so that you understand which part is which. Uh, with this part, it's a little more difficult just because it's so similar on both sides. But you select points on the part that you believe are close, and you press align. And now that we have our aligned part, we will run this particular scan model through autopilot.
We will keep it a watertight. I'm going to turn off the texture uh, just so that the speed of the autopilot is faster. Uh, so we'll hit next. We've already edited our part. Now it's just going to go through some fine alignment. And then I will show you uh, how we pull a full watertight model from the autopilot feature. So it's asking, uh, it'll walk you through step by step. Do these scans look aligned? Uh, and they do. So we click yes. The final registration is just aligning the individual scans. Uh, the global registration is aligning the scans as a whole. Outlier removal, like I spoke about earlier, is gathering any noise that is outside of the model itself will be removed. Uh, and then the fusion, obviously, more alignment. And the small object filter is just your fine tuning on the outlier removal. And then your mess simple. Your mesh simplification uh, removes, it's the last step of the autopilot, it will remove data that is overlapping. So let's say you have uh, this particular plane on this top here, and we have overlapping data. It will remove anything that's overlapping and keep only the data that is consistent throughout the part. And this process, uh, for a part like this, you know, you're looking anywhere from three to six minutes. Uh, for parts that are maybe larger, the size of the scanner, you could be looking anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes, uh, depending on the complexity. And again, uh, like I mentioned before, the texture option, uh, if, you, if you leave that option on on the autopilot, it could take a little bit longer, uh, just because not only is it aligning the geometry of this part, it's also aligning the texture. Uh, but for this particular application, we're only interested in the geometry. So we see that it has removed all of that excess noise, and it is simply now simplifying the mesh that we have created. Uh, and this can be exported as a point cloud or even a polygonal mesh, uh, to which you can use for many different applications. So you see here, we have our full 3D model of this spearhead. So thanks for watching.